I'm here with my crew and we're on the road, on our way to Rhinebeck. There's nothing I like more than a road trip, especially when the destination is a flea market. It is a beautiful day to be antiquing and behind me are three buildings filled with quality pieces. It is the Rhinebeck Antique Show. Let's get inside. Frank, great to see you. Pleasure, Bob. Nice to meet you. What should I know about this show, Antiques at Rhinebeck? Antiques at Rhinebeck is a, it's a classic Hudson Valley event that's been running for close to 40 years. I've been an antique dealer for 43 years, and uh, 23 years ago I segued into producing the antique shows, uh, and this is the result of what I've done. So you're sort of like a movie star that decided to get behind the camera and produce. Sounds good. I never have been to Rhinebeck before. It's a beautiful yeah. area. So what's different about this antique show? What sort of merchandise do you bring that's maybe a little bit different? Um, you can sell more rustic things here, a lot of folk art. As you walk around, you see a lot of more higher ends, some really formal furniture, a lot of artwork of varying natures, some modern, some toy type stuff. It's just a complete mixture, but it's more towards a traditional rustic country side as opposed to a modern side. I have to tell you as I'm walking through today, I am so struck by so many things in your booth that I had to pull in and say hello mm -hmm. and Thank ask you. you about this show and what brings you here and what sort of things you choose to bring to this show. We've been doing Frank's shows for years and he's always has a mixture of dealers that bring very interesting and authentic um, pieces to his, you know, to his shows, so it's a, it's always a lot of fun, and he always attracts a great crowd. and And now that Frank has taken it over, it's it's back to what it had been in the old days, which is one of the great shows each year in in New England. So we're we're thrilled to be here. I'm a pretty patriotic guy, and I've got a lot of World War I and World War II pieces, but I've never found something from the Spanish-American War, and this is very special. It was made for a mother or a family to put in their window and commemorate the fact that their son was serving. I love all of the graphics that are going on. I love the image, and at $30, it was a real find here today in Rhinebeck. And Rhinebeck is one of those old-fashioned shows. Um, it goes yes. back probably to the early 80s, I'm guessing. And it's a relaxed show where you'll have really high-end dealers and you'll have mom and pop dealers. And it provides a wonderful cross-section, a great experience for someone coming through the door. You can buy something wonderful for $50, you can buy something wonderful for $15,000. Yeah, that, I've got my eye on something excitement. for $15,000. Okay, so right. <laughs> Okay. would like to be my friend. Okay, right. <laughs> it may be summertime, but it's Christmas right here in this corner of the Rhinebeck Antique Show. I love vintage Christmas ornaments, and I love that this dealer took on a patriotic theme in terms of the way she placed these ornaments with all of their red, white, and blue colors. I also adore the things that are in this case. Like so many things at this show, she's chosen really special holiday ornaments. Every flea market and antiques venue I go to has a few Christmas things, but these pieces are beautifully curated. Teacher says, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Hi, Clarence. I would encourage a young collector to come to an antique, sh antique show, similar to Antiques at Rhinebeck, find something that they like, embrace it, engage with the antique dealer, and believe me, antique dealers, they love sharing knowledge. They love encouraging young people. And even, Bob, when you walk around the show, you'll see many, many young people here, couples with their baby carriages that are serious. They, are, they love art, they love history. Uh, and that's what I'm hoping to continue to do with these shows, to build that and, and see that it has a future for all of us. I think that's just what you've done. There are sold signs on everything here at Antiques at Rhinebeck, and I have to say that I not only found great things, I found great people. There's so much knowledge in these three rooms that I'd recommend coming here to find a few pieces and also learn a few things. I'm Bob Richter, and we'll see you next time on Flea Market Minute. Off to Rhinebeck we will go, to Rhinebeck we will go. Hi ho the Mario, to Rhinebeck we will go. And there's nothing I like more than a road trip.
a road trip. <laughs> and we're on the road, on our way to Rhinebeck. <laughs> I'm in the car with my crew on the way to Rhinebeck, and I don't like any... I'm all, <laughs> I don't like anybody in the damn. car. <laughs> There's nothing I like more than a road trip, and that's where we're doing. That's where we're that's doing. That's where we're doing. <laughs>